Praise the Lord. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hello, guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm excited to have you here. It's very warm. It's cozy here. We have an amazing um, um, fellowship of believers. We have an amazing, amazing going Christian community. People of faith, like minds. We pray together once every day. You want to be a part of this platform. Please kindly subscribe to the YouTube channel and just be a part of what God is doing here. The Lord bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you happen to be seeing me for the first time, my name is Samuel E. Molombe, the man that God is using. I bring you this awesome prophetic word in Jesus' name. The Lord is saying that they are regretting, they have major regrets for pretending to be too busy for you. Can I take that again? The Lord says someone is having a major regret for pretending to be too busy for you. Family, no one is ever too busy. People create time for what they want to do, for the people that they love, for the people that they value. I need this to get into you. No one is ever truly busy or ever busy that they cannot pick your call. The first sign that you notice that someone is losing interest in you is when they begin to make excuses. Oh, hello. Let me close the fridge and call you back. <laughs> or let me turn off the TV and then I'll call you back. That's what you can do while you're talking to me. But when you lose interest, you then begin to make excuses. Oh, the fridge was open and when you called me, I had to close the fridge, then I get to you. But when I try to close the fridge and then I remember that I had to turn on the microwave, that's a sign they're losing interest. But there's a, there's a situation, there's a scenario in the spirit that God is showing me right now. There is somebody who is truly regretting because they lost you like that. It's very dangerous when people teach you to survive without them because you become a vision of yourself you didn't know existed and then they can handle it. Oftentimes, I've seen people who want their attention. They want you always coming back to beg them, beg them for your attention, for their attention, beg them to talk to you, beg them and beg them. But when you finally outgrow that stage, then it becomes so difficult for them to get you back. Maybe this was your situation. This was where you were at. And right now you're listening to this prophetic word. You're really seeing it was the deliverance of God. Because sometimes God will harden the heart of someone towards you to show you how they truly are and to deliver you. You can see that in the case of Moses, the children of Israel and Pharaoh, the Bible tells us that God hardened the heart of Pharaoh. Can you believe that? Pharaoh didn't want to be hard hearted. God hardened his heart so that Moses will persist and then they will be delivered. The Lord is saying right now there are major regrets. You know why there are regrets? Because they made excuses when you needed them. Now, you learned to survive on your own. God delivered you. God helped you. Now they've lost their place in your life. They can't get around it. God says in this new season is bringing new people. One of the major characteristics of a new season is the entrance of new people in your life. He's bringing quality people your way. He's bringing people that are going to help you get to where you have to be. He's bringing people that are going to add it to you and not just subtract. Get ready to receive them. It will be glorious. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. The Lord keep you, cause his face to shine on you, be gracious to you, and give you peace in Jesus' name. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. Jesus' name. Do you receive this word with gladness? I love you, and shalom.